Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to transfer over video clips from your PlayStation 4 to your PC so you can edit them on your computer. Coming up next in this PlayStation tutorial. So the first thing we will want to do is record our gameplay on the PlayStation 4. Now the PlayStation 4 allows you to record a 30 second clip all the way up to a 60 minute clip. And recording a clip on the PlayStation 4 is very easy. You do not need a capture card whatsoever. There's actually software. Uh, if you look at your controller, there will be a specific button that you can press that will pop open a quick menu that will allow you to save photos, live stream, and record video clips. Now, if you look at your controller right now, it says share. Go ahead and press the share button on your controller when you're playing video games and this will allow you to record clips on your PlayStation 4. Now there's a couple different methods that you can actually use to transfer over your recordings to your PC so you can edit them. Now the first way is probably the most convenient and quickest for me is just using a USB stick. Now you can just insert this into the PlayStation 4 and I'll show you how to copy all the data from your recordings over to this USB stick and make it super simple for you guys. The other ways that you can transfer over your recordings is by having a YouTube account and uploading your recordings to YouTube, then going to YouTube and downloading them directly to your PC. And that's not a bad way either, but it really depends on your internet connection and how fast your upload speeds are. And the third way that I can think of that you can transfer over data to your PC is by doing a Twitch live stream. And once you complete that live stream, you will be able to download your live stream from Twitch and then throw it into a video editor on your PC and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and jump over to my PlayStation and my PC right now. So when you're pressing the share button on your PlayStation 4 controller, here are the controls. For the standard option, if you press the share button, it will display the share menu. And also, if you press and hold, it will take a screenshot. If you press it twice, it will start or stop saving a video clip. So if you want to start recording, go ahead and press the share button twice in a row. And then press it twice in a row to stop it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now on my PlayStation 4 controller. And in the upper left, you're going to see a video symbol show up on your screen. And then if you press it twice, it will show it again when it stops. So the video clip has been saved. Now, if you go ahead and press the share button, it's going to open up the share menu. And if you go ahead and press X on this video clip, it will save it. And then you can do the same thing down here by under save video clip. Then if you go to the share in broadcasting settings right here, you have the option to change your share control type. And I have on easy screenshots, so I just have to press the button and it will take a screenshot. So I like that. And then under that, you will have length of video clip. Like I said, you can go from 30 seconds all the way up to 60 minutes. That's insane. So we have our video clip saved. Let's go over to the capture gallery now. Let's press the home button. And I am now on the home screen. Let's scroll over to the library and select this. And then go down to applications. In the first option right here, you will see the capture gallery. Let's go ahead and select this and open it up. And this will provide you all your saved recordings and pictures on your PlayStation 4. So let's go to all. And if you don't see your most recent screenshot or recording on the top, go ahead and press options and then go to sort by and just do date. And it, your most recent one will show up at the top. So here are some of my recordings recently. Let's go ahead and put in my USB stick in my PlayStation 4 right now. So my USB stick is now in my PlayStation 4. Now go over the clip that you want to go ahead and save. Press option. And then go to copy to USB storage device and press X on it. And you can copy more than one at a time. So let's go over to copy now since my video clip is selected. And it's going to show you the pathway in the USB stick that it's going to save the screenshots and video clips. So you got to have a folder called PS4. And then it'll go into the share folder and then it will go into your screenshots or video clips folder from there. So let's go ahead and press OK now. And it's copying over that data. All right, so my recordings are copied. Let's go over to my PC now. So my USB stick is now plugged into my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my video editor. I use Corral Video Studio. 
and I bought this from Amazon.com. If you're looking for a free video editor on your PC, just go ahead and type it into Google, best free video editing software, and there's a very good list right here. Some of the best ones are Blender, Lightworks, Shotcut, VSDC. The only one from this list that I've used actually is DaVinci Resolve, and I do like it. However, some of these are a little bit more complicated and they might stress your computer. So you might find yourself using a few different ones at a time, just learning them and seeing if they work on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up File Explorer now and search for my USB stick on the left hand side here and it should be the H drive. And here's my PS4 folder. I'm gonna open that up, go to share and then go to video clips. And I am going to go to Call of Duty and then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer over my clip I just made. So here it is, drop and drag it into my video editor and here is my clip. And I'm now able to edit this on my PC. If this video did indeed help you out, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation tech help tips coming up next on Your Six Studios.